Hey, let's talk about testing. So we heard that uh, you can, we can pull out lots of our code and test it in isolation, but if we want to look at the components and the effects they have, uh, we, used to uh, we used to use uh, the DOM to test the components for a long time. And this is uh, not so nice because it takes a lot, of, a lot of time. Even with JS DOM, it's quite slow. So in uh, 0.13, React introduced cello rendering, and it promises us to be able to test our components without using the DOM. Sounds great. Let's have a look at it. So uh, it's quite simple. We can import a library. Then we can create such a shallow renderer. We hand it our component, and then we ask it for the rendering result for the output. So what is this output? What can we do with it? If we look at a very, very simple component, and it doesn't matter whether it's a functional or a class-based component, works with both. Um, this is about the simplest component you can get, I believe. Um, when you pass it to your shallow renderer, you get out, if you stringify the result, you get out this information. Um, it contains the type, and you can have a look at the props, and you can see the children of what you returned here. Um, of course, you won't uh, work with this string. I just showed this um, for demonstration purposes. What you can do is you can ask the result to give you its type or to give you its children. Now, this is nice, but um, of course, we also have nested components, so we have components with other components in them. If we look at that, then nah, the string doesn't really work well anymore. So as I said, this is just to, to illustrate this a bit. Um, you can also ask the result to tell you its type, which is the div outside, and it has two children. The first is the uh, paragraph, and then we have our nested component here. Um, then we can also ask about the type of the first child, and we can also ask about the child of the first child. Uh, if you start doing this, then your code, uh, re your tests really get tied to your um, uh, production code. And so if you want to do this in a larger scale, I suggest you should get professional help. <laughs> For example, a very famous one or very well-known one by now is uh, Airbnb's enzyme library that allows you to query the result in um, very, very cool ways. And you can get out lots of information there. Um, but one thing you can get out plainly, so if you look at the, the embedded child here, you can see you don't get any information about this nested child, and that's why it's called shallow rendering, because you only look one level deep. You cannot look to the components inside the components. Um, you can get out one information, and that is the type of this embedded component. You can compare it and say, oh, this is, so, so you can verify here that you hooked up your component correctly. And so this is a shallow rendering all the way down. At the first level, you can look into your component and you can see the embedded component, but if you want to know about the embedded component, you need to have a separate test for that embedded one and then, you know, all the way. Um, so this is not everything we can, we can test with shallow rendering. You can uh, check whether you pass the correct props to your subcomponents. You can check whether your handler functions are wired correctly. And you can also observe the internal state of your component. And you can see the effects of most of React's lifecycle methods. There's one, one method that you cannot test, which is component did mount, because obviously the component didn't mount. So. That's it, thanks. I wrote a blog post about this with lots of examples, and there is also a GitHub repo that contains uh, the working code for the examples. So if you're interested, check it out and give me feedback. Thanks. <laughs>